Well, one guy who never held back his opinions was a teammate of Nick's over many seasons. The two pros had a chat and he was happy to remind us all about his incredible career. <laughs> I'm definitely getting comfy in retirement. I have uh, no itch to get out and uh, ride another Tour de France. Participation is there for the tour, but not the same as when I was a rider. Now it's more focusing on, on my job with the team and uh, trying to help them get the most out of it. Well, my role with Orica Greenwich as technical advisor is exactly that on the technicalities of a stage, then specifically the sprint stages, to go and scout the course. You know, the last kilometres where the road really starts getting technical on the run into the finish town, I'll get on the bike with an onboard camera, ride it have a look at all the corners, the barrier set up, the wind direction, road surface, the whole lot, basically every little detail you could think of. I'll note it down, I'll make extra notes on the race book to the map. I'll then upload all the information to, to our team server and the boys can download it in the bus and, and watch the whole finish before they get there that day. So they don't have to imagine what the finish is like, they can see it and they can then you know, set their tactic around all of that information. The best sprinters teams, they go and check out the finishes but in different ways. Last year I did see the lotto team of Andre Greipel driving the car through the finish zone and having a look at the setup of the barriers and the corners and all that sort of thing. As far as I know, I was the only one riding it on the bike, testing the corners myself. You know, my job is more involved with the sprint side of things, but as a, a team in general, and, and on the whole, um, we're more than a, a team trying to lead out Matt Goss. Hopefully he can win a stage. We've also got Simon Gerrans, a really good prospect for a stage win. I think this year going into the Tour he'll be better prepared than last year. He just didn't quite seem to hit his peak as planned. This year hopefully will be a different story. He's a guy we know we can rely on. And then we've got guys like Michael Albacini, uh, a proven winner, um, very good in a breakaway on the tough stages. So we've got probably three guys that we can almost rely upon to go very close if not win a stage at this year's Tour. Yeah, when you're watching the tour on TV, those, those flat stages coming into a sprint finish, it's really that last 10 kilometres, the jostling for position sort of starts. It's really quite hard to explain if you're not sitting in amongst it. Everything that goes on, you can see little bits and pieces from the TV cameras. After a bunch sprint, there's probably a hundred different stories of someone having a close call with a crash, pushing into somebody else. You know, it could be someone slinging off another guy's jersey. There's all sorts of dirty tricks going on in the middle of the bunch. And you've just got to dare to sometimes take risks and try to put crashing out really at the back of your mind. If you're thinking about crashing, then you're not thinking about winning. So I think you've got to have calculated risks. Sometimes there is a point where you're thinking about crashing because you know, you'll be almost on the ground and not able to believe you've, you've held it up and you get a good adrenaline rush and, and keep moving forward. But, it's always focusing on what you need to be doing exactly and not thinking about the worst case scenario. Probably the, the worst crash that was the most painful for the longest was a, a Tour de France crash, stage six, 2004 Tour. I broke two vertebrae and um, completed the next two and a half weeks of the Tour with it. So that's probably the worst one I've had. Well, Cadell, he's got a proven track record, having won the Tour, finished second a few times. He's coming off a, a third place overall in the, the recent Giro d'Italia. The question I have is, can he back that up at the Tour de France? And to be honest, I would be very surprised if he can back it up with another podium finish at the Tour. The Giro finished only five weeks before the Tour starts. It's a very short recuperation period. The Tour is really hard within the last week. The question is whether Cadell can maintain his fitness and his form all the way through to the end of the Tour. And I don't think um, the odds are in his favour, but uh, I'd like to see myself proven wrong, of course.